hello everyone welcome to my channel so today we are going to discuss about how to create a module in magento 2 so uh, i have also wrote some blogs for that you can check out uh, my website that is asolutions.co.in i'll share the link down in the description so let's just get started so uh, if you are using the fresh magento uh, you need to create a code directory inside the app directory so here we are going to here we are going to create a namespace that is my module my first module then the module name is my module then we need to create a registration.php this is a mandatory file so basically this file is used to uh, tell the magento that we are going to create a module we need to register a component so let's just call magento framework component then component registrar so and from that component registrar we need to call the register function So the register function accepts three parameters like the type of the module, so type of the package. So here we are using the uh, module. So that constant present in this class that is Magento Framework Component Component Registrar. You can check out this constant here. That is the module, the library, then the theme, language, then the setup. So currently we are going to create a module. So we will call the constant module from the component register so here we need to write component registrar module then the second parameter is the component name so here we need to write our component name that is namespace underscore module name here we are using my first module underscore my module then the path then the current path of our module that is underscore underscore d i r is basically a php constant that we need to pass so that we need to can load this directory and register into the framework so after that we need to create the etc directory inside our module so let's just create the one directory here that's etc and inside that is etc directory we need to create the another file that is module.xml so one thing that you need to remember here that is the registration.php is a mandatory file and the module.xml is also a mandatory file module.xml file helps you to uh, create the setup versions to register the setup versions and uh, create a dependency of your module on another module so i will create that kind of dependency in the future videos as well so let's just create a file xml file here so file name will be module dot xml inside that module dot xml we need to call the config node we need to find the xsd file xsd stands for the schema definition file and we need to define our module there yeah. so here i define the xml tag inside that we have a config tag and we define our xsd file here you can see sorry for that okay. then we define our module name and its setup version so that setup version goes inside the setup underscore modules table so we'll see that when we are when we will deal with the uh, setup scripts data scripts and the patches in the future videos so once we are done with this what we will do so sorry i forgot to change the name here so the name will be my module so that's it 
in our jam so let's go to the command line once we are once we have created registration.php in the module.xml after that we need to uh, tell the magento that we have created a module and we need we want to register that module inside the magento for that we need to run the command that is php bin magento the module colon number and our module name that is my module so, so once everything is fine you will be able to see the message that the following module has enabled and uh, magento will ask to run the setup upgrade command so to ensure that your module is enabled uh, the module status if you want to check the status of your module just type the command php bin magento module status my first module my module so you will see status of this module there is another way that you can check the status of your module inside the app then the etc directory there is a config file here so click on that config file search for your module name there it's my first module underscore my module so you can see the module is uh, enabled here in the config.php file and from the command line also you will get the message that is module is enabled okay now let us let us go towards the creating controller and magento 2 so to create your router and controller you need to create the route.xml file inside your etc directory so let's just create one so magento have different areas uh, to deal with like the front end and the html and then the pbpi rest and the pbpi so so right now we are going to create the route for the front end part so here i will create the front end directory here inside the etc like i have created for one of the models that i have created earlier so, so let's just create the front end directory here and then then create our route xml here then we need to write the template here that is the config node then the router id router id is going to be a different one that defined uh, the default then the cms then the admin based on your requirement and the area that you are dealing with then we need to define our route id then the friend name so basically route id is useful when you are create when you are dealing with the front end part like creating the layout so the first part of your layout file will be your route id then your controller name then your action name so then the first name is used to uh, route your uh, request to the controller so the suppose if we have the abc.com domain and we have a friend name my module slash a slash b so here my model is going to be do you um sorry for that oh dulb so here my model is going to be your front name a will be your controller name and b is going to be your action so if we have the uh, route id is module and front name is module so basically the uh, route id and front name can be a different value so if we change the front name my module underscore abc then our route will be 
abc.com my module windows abc slash a slash b and the layout file related with the with that particular request is going to be our route ID then our controller name then our action name so this is going to be our layout file and this is going to be our request name. so let this get create our controller right now we don't have any controller to serve our request right now so let us create a controller directory inside our module folder all the controllers in module in your module resides under the controller directory whether it is the admin or the front end controller inside that controller we are going to create the index folder so basically in magenta 2 the controllers are served as a directory and the action are served as the php file so if we are dealing with the uh, abc.com my module index and index so index is going to be a folder name and the index then index is going to be a action name and inside that action name magento calls the execute method to serve all your requests so let's just create our php class here let's index our php define our namespace here that is my first module slash module controller index our, our last name is index all different controller must be explained from Magento framework action action Magento framework action action so here we need to define our execute method public function Execute because you can see from the app action class it calls the dispatch method and to the dispatch method Magento calls the execute method. So let's just go inside that class Magento framework and then the app then action and action so it stands the abstract action and you can see inside the dispatch calls the execute method here on line number 108 so that's why we have defined our execute method here so let us echo something that is here is my first page let's see that let's see if we are able to access our route through the front end or not so our front name is let's see what was our front name it's no not that it's my module let's copy it and paste in front of our domain name 
if you see this error on your front end that you need to upgrade your database so just navigate to your uh, command line and execute the command php bin magento setup upgrade once you execute that command you will see this page so here is our output that we have printed from our execute folder if you would like to display the page so along with the header and footer just use the uh, result factory here here you can see I call result factory and uh, return its constant that is type page and for the execute measure I am returning the object of that result factory go into the front page refresh your page now you are able to see the whole page that is the header footer and the page content so that's all for now today please don't forget to like share and subscribe this video and if you want to see my latest blog please uh, check out all my blogs on asolutions.co.in happy coding have a good day bye bye